Hey everyone, this is Emily with Sailrite, and today I'm going to show you how to make a monkey's fist ornament. Let's get started. The materials you'll need are approximately 10 feet of rope, we used 5 16ths inch, a hot knife, and one ping pong ball. All right, let's get our rope ready. Give yourself about four to six inches of tail in the front. Spread your fingers wide and wrap the rope around your hand till you've created four passes. One, two, three, four. Wrap the rope around your pinky and hold it in place with your ring finger. Very carefully, slide your hand out and replace it with your finger, pinching the bottom and keeping the rope passes together. Take your working end and wrap it around those four loops, going in the other direction, wrapping from the bottom up. You'll wrap the rope four times, creating four passes. Hold the rope in place with your thumb. Okay, we've got one, two, three, and four. Now, keeping everything together, take your ping pong ball and insert it into that open cavity. And it's okay if it's a little loose because we're gonna tighten everything up later. Now we're going to turn our work and hold everything together very carefully. Slip your thumb into that bottom loop. This is where the rope is going to come out of our next round of passes. Take the end of your rope and thread it through the top opening away from you. Snug it to the left, holding the rope with your free fingers to keep it in place. Take that working end and thread it back through the bottom, pulling it out toward you. This is what it looks like right now. Now, we'll do this a total of four times, creating four passes through the top and through the bottom, just like we did on the first two sides. And if it helps, you can move your thumb out of that bottom opening to give yourself more room to thread your rope through. You keep making adjustments to make sure you have enough space to thread that rope through. And make sure your loops don't overlap. Take your time keeping them straight and fix them as you need to. Okay, one more pass. Okay, let's check our work. We've got four, 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 and four. All right, looks good. But it's a little loose right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep going to tighten everything up and we're going to hide this end. What you do is you push into that center and hide your end behind these four passes of rope. Now we've created a loose loop here. So what we'll do is go through and tighten and snug up all these loose loops. Just like this, working all the way around the monkey's fist.
And as you're doing this, make sure none of your rope passes are overlapping. This is a good time to fix anything you need to. Okay, we've got some overlapping passes here. So I'm going to push these flat and space them out more and make them look nicer. Almost at the end. All right, looks pretty good. You can kind of roll it in your hands if you want to, to get that nice round shape. Work it a little bit. And there's your monkey's fist. Now we're going to create a modified hangman's knot using the rest of our rope. And here's how to do that. Loop your rope up, down, and up again. Take your rope and wrap it four times, wrapping it down toward your hand. Take the working end and thread it through that bottom loop and then pull it tight. Give it a good tug so your knot is nice and tight. Now we're going to cut off this extra bit of rope with our Sailrite Edge cordless hot knife. This hot knife is great because there's no cord to worry about and it heats up super quickly and it gives us a nice clean cut. You can use scissors and a lighter, but it will look messier and you don't want to risk burning your rope. That's all it is. And there you go. There's your monkey's fist ornament. Thanks for watching and happy DIYing.